deep. He uh, is a deeper kicker. And Cox back are Brent McClanahan, a second year player, 33, and Sam McCullum, a rookie. The rookie is the fellow that could have let that, what appeared to be a punt that might have gotten into the end zone that he fell on and preceded the safety. That was in that if and buts category that I was talking about before the game. Well, so far you're a little bit behind. I'm close. Do nothing. He slipped up. Kick. And it is fumbled by McCollum and just saved. Let's see who's got it. Oh, oh, oh. Right down there at the bottom of the pile is Marv Kellum. Kellum <laughs> recovered. 54. You know, what's stuck is all the way from the ground. There are times what? when ifs and buts. Look at his foot slip up. Lucky. That's yeah. the soccer style, and this field has been slick. That ball was not kicked the way he was trying to kick it. But it turned out well. That's one of those almost things. Boom, boom, Brown didn't quite get the That's handle on Brown. it. Let me correct that. Brown fumbled the ball, and Marv Kellum, who played on an eight-man high school football team at LeCompte and Candace recover. Big break for the Steelers to open the second half. By the way, they go with a run. Blyer stopped cold at the 30. No gain. Second down, 10. Same backfield. Blyer and Harris behind Bradshaw. Wide receivers. They're going with the youngsters. Stallworth and Swan in the second half. 82 and 88. Brown's the tight end. Gravel and Kolb the tackle. Mullins and Clack at guard. Mansfield at center. The Lone Ranger. Franco Harris. Oh. The 20. 15. Get the block. He may go. No, he's pushed out. Carl Eller saved it. Eller pushed him out. Well, Kurt. This thing is really turned around here, and this is the, the bread and butter man all year. Franco Harris off tackle following Flyers block. He kicks Hilgenberg out. Seaman couldn't get there. This is Eller. Watch Eller number 81. He's the one that makes the tackle. Krause missed him first. Stallworth made a fine block right there at the end. All right, take it again, Nero. Let's take a look at this. They got pace they go, going to the outside. Go they? to Cole's side also again. Now here comes, you saw that coming across, John Stallworth coming back to the inside. First down, goal to go. Pittsburgh on the Minnesota six. There. Pull down. Wally Hilgenberg knifed in from the outside right and dropped him for a loss. If we said the Vikings are a right-handed team, it appears that the Pittsburgh Steelers run better to their left. They've been very awesome to that side. Second down, nine to go for a Pittsburgh touchdown. Coming out, Greg Larson. He was in there in the goal line defense. And uh, Paul Krause is in there as free safety right now. They can't make a first down, Kurt, and I think that'll be important. They got second down and goal now. Down nine. Look at that opening go back. Running to the flag. Oh, oh no. Pittsburgh ball. Gary, Gary Mullins threw the block for him. Boy, did he throw a block, Harry. You call it right on the button. They go to their left. They've been running so beautifully there. Counter One step. 72. The Look man up. from USC. Here's the block. Great block. On Helgenberg. Seaman can't get there. And Franco Harris is 99 yards rushing. Now the extra point. Bobby Walden will spot it. The Steelers have struck quickly in the opening of the second half. It is up and it is good. Flag down. Well, this is going to put a lot more pressure on Tarkington than he even had in the first half, I think, because they obviously are going to be behind at least nine points, and assuming they or eight points, assuming they kick this, will be nine. He didn't have a running game the first half. Now, what's he going to do the second half, do you know? He's got problems. We, at the top of the show, we talked about Harris, and we talked about Chuck Foreman. We talked about the two quarterbacks. I'll tell you, Franco Harris, in the second half of the season, after he got over the injuries, has been one of the finest backs that we've seen in a long time. He is, he is the fullback, the epitome of the fullback. Well, they was, uh, I guess his offside is against Minnesota, so I put him a little bit closer here. Distance is not the thing now. Offside, evidently the... There it is. The right guard, or the right uh, tackle's offside. 
Well, they'll boot it again. This one's up, and it is good. Well, they line up now. Pittsburgh.